New Jersey Governor Chris Christie today traveled to Manahawkin, New Jersey. Manahawkin uh, is so teeny tiny that it's not even really officially a town. Officially speaking, Manahawkin is a census-designated place on the Jersey Shore. Governor Christie went there today to meet with... New Jersey Governor Chris Christie today traveled to Manahawkin, New Jersey. Manahawkin uh, is so teeny tiny that it's not even really officially a town. Officially speaking, Manahawkin is a census-designated place on the Jersey Shore. Governor Christie went there today to meet with people whose lives are still turned upside down after Hurricane Sandy. He meant to make this trip back on January 8th. But that day, the Bergen Record published 22 pages of emails showing the tendrils of the Bridgegate scandal reaching into the governor's administration. And Mr. Christie canceled all his public appearances that day, including the one in Manahawkin. Today, though, he finally was able to reschedule that visit. So, on the one hand, this is Governor Christie getting back to governor business as usual. On the other hand, Governor Christie said something today that was really, really, really unusual. Unusual. Very unusual for him. You asked me, and I accepted, the task of leading this state for eight years, not four years. And no one, I can assure you, ever told me or anybody on my team that it was going to be easy. Hadn't been up to this point, and... There's all kinds of challenges, as you know, that come every day out of nowhere to test you. But I want to assure the people of New Jersey of one thing. I was born here. I was raised here. I'm raising my family here. And this is where I intend to spend the rest of my life. That is not at all the way that Governor Chris Christie has talked recently about his immediate next few years plans. Not at all. And now, I'm not prepared to say definitively tonight that Chris Christie just announced he is not running for president. But compare what he said today with the way he usually talks about this thing. And it kind of seems today like Chris Christie announced he is not going to run for president in 2016. Because this is the way he used to talk about it. This was on October 8th. I am not going to declare tonight, Christine, for you or for anybody else, that I am or I'm not running for president. I don't think anybody in America or in the state of New Jersey expects anybody three years away to tell them what they're going to do. Life's too long, Christine. I won't make those decisions until I have to. I can walk and chew gum at the same time, Christine. Uh, I can do this job and also deal with my future, and that's exactly what I will do. That was Governor Christie during a debate for his re-election effort, refusing to say definitively that he would fill out his time as governor. This was Mr. Christie a week before the election. If you win, are you committed to serving out your full term? I'm committed to being the best governor New Jersey can have um, for as long as I could possibly do it. But you know, George, neither one of us have a crystal ball and know what's going to happen in the future. I'll do this job as long and as aggressively as I possibly can. And uh, my current intention is to, uh, to spend four years, but we'll see what happens, George. You never know what life's going to bring you. My current intention is to serve out my term, but we'll see what happens. Never know. Chris Christie was so confident that he was going to be reelected that even while he was debating his opponent for reelection, even the week before voters went to the polls, and he's on national TV, he was so confident he was going to win that he was still willing to announce, as he was asking people to vote for him for governor, that he might not actually do the job of governor that they were voting him in for. But then New Jersey voted him in. I'm the governor of New Jersey. That's my job, and that's what I asked for for four more years, and that's what I intend to do. All four years? Hey, listen, who knows? I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue to do my job and finish the job, but everybody who's trying to, you know, figure out what life is going to bring you a few years from now, I didn't expect to be sitting here four years ago, George, so nobody can make those predictions. All four years? Who knows? I don't know. Nobody can make those predictions. That was the week after the election. Next. What he's saying is totally different. You asked me, and I accepted, the task of leading this state for eight years, not four years. 
Then he went on to say, I was born here, I was raised here, I'm raising my family here, and this is where I intend to spend the rest of my life. So that's one thing to know. 